Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disallow editing and deletion of data in your forms. We're going to look at the allow edits, allow deletes, and allow additions properties. Today's question comes from Hema. She says, hi, can you help me? How do you disable data editing after inputting values in a form? I tried locking, but it is not allowing me to enter new data as well. Well, the first thing that you have to understand is there's a big difference between field level locking and record level editing. Let me show you an example. If you go into design view of any form and open up the properties for a control, like a text box, you'll see on the data tab there's enabled and locked. Now these properties allow you to control what happens with that specific field only. And if you want to do multiple fields, you have to set them all on the form. That's handy for preventing specific things from being edited, like if you don't want any phone numbers being changed or any credit limits being changed. And in order to have it so that someone can add that value and then not be able to edit it later for just that specific record is going to involve some visual basic programming. You have to have an event that locks that field after they enter the value. What it sounds to me like you're looking for is the ability for users to view data if it's already in the table but not change it, but still be able to add new records at the end of the record set. In other words, you want people to be able to open this, view what's already in here, but not change this stuff, and still give them the ability to add new records. That's the most common thing that people ask me how to do. And fortunately, at the most basic level, it doesn't involve any programming. All you have to do is go into the design view, go to the form properties, that's that little box right there where the ruler bars meet, come down here and change allow edits and allow deletions. Set allow edits equal to no and allow deletions equal to no. That way they can't delete any records either. Leave allow additions set to yes. There's another field called data entry which we'll talk about in a minute. All right, now save your form, control S, close it down, open it back up again. And now notice if I click in here and try to type, nothing happens. I can't change any existing records. But if I go to a blank new record, I can still add stuff. The problem with this is once you leave the record and come back to it, now you can't make any additions or make any edits. But that's what you have to deal with if you want to work with these properties. This way your users can open up this form and can see the data, but they can't make any changes. That other property that's in there, if you go down here, there's data entry. If you set that to yes, that means they won't be able to see the records that are in there. That's handy if you want people doing like surveys or if you want them adding order information, you don't want them to be able to go back and look at all of the older information in the, in the form. They can just add new records, but they can't see what's in there previously. That's what you turn on if you want to put data entry on. Now, what do you do if you still want to edit this data as a manager, as the administrator of the database? Well, unfortunately, unless you know some Visual Basic programming, which I will cover in the members only version of this video coming up. The only way to do that without some programming is to make two copies of this form. So copy paste, we'll make this uh, customer admin F. Okay. And now you can edit this guy design view, maybe change the background color. The problem with this method is that you have to maintain two different forms. All right. Well, that's too dark. Let's go with uh, light red. So that you know, this is the admin form. Okay. And now in the properties in here, you can set allow edits and allow deletions to yes. Close that, save it. So now if I open up the admin form, I can still make changes. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. But the regular customer form, you cannot. You can only make additions. Now, how do you prevent your user from seeing this stuff so they can't open up the admin form? I'll show you all that in the members only video. So here's what the members only video has. I'm going to show you how to make a quick main menu form so you can have a custom interface for your users to work with and buttons for your customer and your customer admin forms. And I'll show you how to set that up as the startup form so when your database starts up, the main menu appears. Then I'll show you how to disable the navigation pane so the users can't go through all of your objects. They can't go poking through your tables and your forms and your queries and all that. They'll only see what you give them access to on your main menu. I'll also show you how to disable most of the ribbon buttons and the shortcut menu options. 
So they can't just right click on a form and close it. You can control whether or not they have a close button or give them your own close button on the form. Then I'll teach you how to do a password, right? Very simple, two lines of code. Pop up an input box and then check the password. The password allows them to open the admin form. Then finally, we'll get rid of that admin form because we don't want two separate forms to maintain, right? If you have to make changes in one, you gotta remember to change them in the other. But I'll show you using that same code that we used to ask for a password, I'll show you how to change the allow edits and the allow deletions properties in code so you can use the same form and just control the access rights to it. And again, all together, it's like five or six lines of code and you can do all this stuff with it. How do you get access to the members only videos? Well, you have to join my YouTube channel. Go to my channel, click on the join button. You'll see all the different membership levels there from supporter all the way on up. Silver members and up get access to all of the extended cut members only tech help videos. And there's a video there explaining what all the different membership levels give you. But don't worry, I'm always going to be making these free tech help videos and posting them to my YouTube channel and my website in the future. So uh, you do not have to subscribe to watch all of these free videos. But make sure you do subscribe to my channel. That means you get notifications. It doesn't cost you anything. And make sure you click on the little bell there to get email notices whenever I release new free videos. You can also subscribe to my website's access forum. And if you want to see your questions answered in a video like this, you can visit my tech help page where you can post them in the comments section below the video. There's all my other cool stuff, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I've got a free three hour long full tutorial for Microsoft Access Beginners on my website and it's on YouTube. There's a link. And if you like level one, level two is just one dollar. And that will also give you a logon on my website which gives you all kinds of extra cool stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.